You're listening to Life with Herpes, and this is episode 35. Hello and welcome to today's episode with Life with Herpes. I am your host, Alexandra Harbushka, and as always, I am so excited to be here with you. If you are watching me on YouTube right now, you will see that I am just out of the shower. I have my I haven't even brushed my hair. Um, I'm giving you guys a visual that are listening. Um, but yeah, I haven't brushed my hair, it's up in a ponytail. I have my college sweatshirt on, I have my sorority sweatshirt. It is a Kappa Kappa Gamma sweatshirt. So if I have any other Kappa Kappa Gammas listening, you will appreciate that I have my letters on. So I am like chilling. Today in San Diego, it is drizzle. It's August. We're in the middle of August and it's in the 60s and it's like this drizzle rain outside and I just wanted to be comfy in a sweatshirt. So hey, that's what I'm doing. So just to give you guys a visual, um, and uh, those of you that are watching YouTube, you're like, whoa, she's not all dressed up or she hasn't brushed her hair. Nope, I haven't. <laughs> so anyways, I am excited to be here with you. Um, before I get going, I want to make sure that you are a part of our community. As always, that is, I mean, that that is the priority, that is important, and I want you to make sure that you are getting the information, getting becoming a part of the community. You know, as you know, having herpes, it's scary to talk to other people. You don't know if they have it. You don't know if they're going to judge you. You don't know if they're going to hold it over your head, all of those things. And so that is why I've created this community. Um, you get information on the podcast. You get emails. You get to join our private group. I will talk about that in a second. Um, you get to join our private group and you get downloads and just other cool shit. So Join. It's cool. It's fun. Um, it is go to lifewithherpes.com to enroll um, and sign up. It is free. So what is better than free? I don't know. Free. <laughs> um, anyways, and I want to talk about the the online community. So as you, if you are a uh, listener to Life with Herpes and you've been listening to me for the past 34 episodes, you will know I've talked about the Facebook group. Um, What I have done is I have moved it over to another platform. I have moved it to Slack. And I'm really excited about moving it over to Slack for a couple of reasons. Um, One, it is not social media. So there is no worry that your mother's brother's cousin's friends who's played in the sandbox with some other sister is going to know that you have herpes. Um, so that's really th- th- my my number one priority here. Well, my number one priority is making sure you, you are not alone. My second priority is making sure that your secret is kept. Uh, and so that is why I've chosen Slack. If you're familiar with Slack, you're like, woohoo, this is awesome. I'm on Slack all the time. If you're not, um, go check it out. It's free. It, you get an app on your phone as well. It's secure. Um, I personally just think it's more secure than Facebook. Um, you don't have to worry. People aren't necessarily going to think about going through your phone and going through your Slack account or something. Um, So anyways, I just feel like that is safer. I will go in more detail to the Slack account, but I just wanted to give you a heads up. That is over there. Okay, long, long, long introduction. Um, But I want to talk today about some triggers that cause my outbreaks. And um, because I get asked this question a lot um, from you um, through Facebook messages or emails, um, that's one of the number one questions I'm actually getting is is what what causes your outbreaks? Like what causes your triggers or how do you know? And so for me, my number one trigger guaranteed always 100% of the time um, is sleep. Always, 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 always. For me, it's 100% sleep. Ever since I've been a child, um, I've needed more sleep. Some people need more sleep. Some people don't. I personally need nine hours of sleep a night, um, and I know that. And I'm very, very cautious and and do everything I can to ensure that I get nine hours of sleep. So 
For you, that might be something completely different. You might be the person, I like to call them sharks. Did you, I don't know if you know this, but sharks never sleep. Like they, they don't ever stop moving. So they're always moving. I don't know if you knew that. I knew, I learned that like in the second grade and I always thought that that was pretty cool. So when they sleep, I guess they do sleep, but they're still moving. Um, so if you're like a shark and are always, always, always going, you're like the energizer bunny and you don't need nine hours of sleep, this may not be your trigger. I, you know, everybody's body is a little bit different. Um, but for me personally, sleep is guaranteed. Now it may not be the first night. So let's say, you know, you have a couple of busy nights, maybe, um, you're on vacation or maybe you're, you have, you're stressed, whatever. Maybe you're in the middle of finals, midterms whatever it is that's going on in your life and you have lack of sleep. For me, it's de- the first night, I'm, I'm okay if I get like six hours one night, then the next night I ensure that I have at least at least nine, if not 10 or 11, I usually make that up. For me, it's usually about day two or day three. So if I have multiple days of not having sleep, it it absolutely, I, I like go into this, um, my, I just totally shut down. I can feel my immune system shut down. I can feel um, I, I can't think. I am just, I'm groggy. I'm not the same person. I just sit there. I'm like a blob. Um, and I'm foggy. Um, I don't know if you get that. You just get foggy. You can't think straight. That's me. So I know for myself, and this is also for other things. This is not just for herpes outbreaks. Um, this is for getting a cold. This is for getting the flu. This is for um, doing the best possible work that I can do. It's for taking care of my body. If I don't get enough sleep, I don't really want to eat healthy, right? I, I'm like, oh, I'll just, I want uh, whatever's available. Because we, we try to fuel our body with um, foods that like, like uh, bad foods. You know, when you, you just don't feel good, a lot of times you're like, oh, I just want comfort food or I'll take whatever I can. And you're just off. So I know for myself, sleep, okay? Um, if you are not somebody that gets a lot of sleep, try it. Um, it's, for me, like I said, it's really important for me. Um, I, I've, I've just always been a good sleeper and that was the way I was raised. Um, but try it. I know that my fiance didn't always get a lot of sleep until with me because i I go to bed. <laughs> I want to go to sleep. I'm ready. I'm in bed. Um, and now he gets a lot more sleep and he's like, wow, I didn't realize how much I needed it. So, um, and how important it really is for everything. Um, I should actually really go in more depth with sleep. Um, I do go into it as I believe in my in one of my uh, eBooks, I do talk about sleep being really, really important. So it really does a lot for you. Um, but try it. If it's not something you've tried, try it. Try it for a week. Maybe go to bed a little bit earlier. Yeah, maybe you're like, oh, I can't sleep, Alexandra, if I go to bed. Then lay down and read a book or just rest. Give your body the ability to rest. That is key. Okay, so sleep. The other thing that triggers it, which goes back to sleep, is when I change time zones. So when I travel, um, that is a big one. So if I travel anything that requires, you know, more than I would say four to five hours of travel, um, I will get an outbreak. So if it is, usually if I'm in the car, you know, for, I go to Arizona a lot. I have family in Arizona. So if I go to Arizona, no, no, I'm not going to get an outbreak. You know, I'm in the car, no big deal. It's, it's not a stress on my body. Um, but if I'm in a, a plane, if I change time frames, you know, a lot of times when I travel, you know, or, or you travel, whatever travel we, we do, we have to get up early. Maybe we're to bed late because we're, we're, I like to use the phrase, a chicken with our head cut off running around. I got to get, I got to, you know, mail this letter. I got to get this out. Oh my gosh, I didn't do this. I didn't do that. Oh, that one outfit I wanted to wear, it's in the wash. I got to wait for it to put in the dryer. Like all those silly things that we had plenty of time to do um, and we do decide to start at midnight before we leave to go somewhere on vacation. Um, yeah, those things. <laughs> so those are a lot of triggers and I believe, I truly, truly believe that is why I get outbreaks is I stress my immune system out the day before. 
Then you have a day of travel, which really, really, really is stressful on your body. You may not realize it's stressful on your body um, because you're excited, you're ready to go, it's vacation, woohoo, I'm going to have more drinks, I'm going to have more fun, and that's exactly what happens. Your, Your body like freaks out. It's like, whoa, 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 what are we doing? We are up early or we're up late or we're we're traveling and it's different foods and different maybe you drink more you don't drink as much water um your exercise may be different and that 100% triggers an outbreak for me guaranteed if i switch time zones and i travel i 100% get an outbreak guaranteed um so yeah, I did a podcast on, you know, your virus wants to go on vacation too. It's like, hey, I want to be here too. It kind of reminds me, have you seen that commercial that's on right now? I think it's for like irritable bowel syndrome and it's it's like the medication to prevent irritable bowel, I don't even say it correct, irritable, irritable bowel syndrome. I don't really know that much about it, um, but it's like that, the girl that's like dressed in like a... Um, like a unitard or, yeah, unit, leotard, unitard, whatever. And she has the, um, the st- her stomach, like is the only, it's like the only diagram on this unitard, unitard, leotard, unitard, I don't know, whatever it is. And it's like, oh, it's our anniversary night. Oh, irritable bowel syndrome wants to come along too. Like, I'm not going to let you have fun without me. I want to be a part of this anniversary night or whatever it is. That kind of reminds me of what I'm talking about here. Those of you that have seen the commercial, you'll you'll know what I mean. Those of you that have haven't, um, I don't know. I don't know if I'd go Google it. I wouldn't probably spend the time on that. But um, anyways, your virus wants to be a part of all the excitement that you have. It's your anniversary and you want to have a romantic evening with your lover and you want to maybe go out of town for the weekend. Guess what? <laughs> Um, so anyways, those two things are the number one thing for me that I know trigger an outbreak. So what do I do to prevent it? That's probably the key here. How do I, how do we prevent it? Perhaps you have a similar situation where it's like, yeah, anytime I travel, especially international travel, um, I, I've heard from a couple other people, they're like, Alexandra, when I travel international, if I go to Europe or if I go to wherever, um, or if you're from Europe and you come to California or whatever, just that stress on your body creates an outbra- out, outbreak. Um, so what I recommend doing is sleep. Sleep, 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 sleep. Guaranteed most, I mean, that's the most important thing. Start looking at maybe there's things that prevent you from sleeping. Maybe you are on your computer too late. Maybe you are watching TV and you get that blue light. Uh, maybe alcohol, you know, alcohol really, really prevents you from getting a good night's sleep. I know if I have two glasses of wine, I don't sleep as well, guaranteed. Um, so that's also a bummer on vacation, right? Um, but yeah, so these are little triggers that I know will will prevent me from having a good night's sleep. So um, another thing is important to ensure you get good night's sleep is exercise. Uh, making sure you get plenty of exercise. And I what I don't mean is exhausting your body to like you're going to go try out for the next triathlon. No, I mean just maybe going for a walk at the end of the day, uh, maybe going for a quick walk in the morning, just moving your body and getting the blood pumping will really, it actually helps you sleep better. So that's another key. The other thing for travel and what I really like to do before I travel is I – double up on my vitamins and minerals. So I do, I make sure I sleep and then um, I make sure that I'm hydrated. I make sure that I take extra vitamins. So for example, um, vitamin C is really important for your immune system, your multivitamin, and just making sure that I'm eating really clean before I get on that plane or before I I travel. and then I also like to make sure that when I do travel and I'm in the airport, I like to eat clean. I like to make sure, yes, I would love a Bloody Mary at the airport. Of course I would. Um, but I really do my best to stick just stick as clean as possible and then wait till I've arrived wherever I have arrived and kind of adjust and acclimate my body to wherever I am. Um, so yeah, your body just kind of goes in shock. You're not in shock, but your body's in shock. 
Um, so just keep those little things in mind for travel um, and get to know your body. What 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 are your triggers? Um, you might be thinking, Alexandra, what are you talking about? I have this is not a trigger at all. What triggers me is um, when I exercise. If I if I I'm a athlete and if I do a marathon, I, the next day I get an outbreak. It may be completely different for your body, um, and that's kind of the beauty in this and why I have this podcast is I I I like to share personally what happens to me. And then I love to hear from you to have you tell me like, no, sleep, I'm a shark. I don't sleep. I don't need to sleep. I'm go, 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 go. What really gets me is, I don't know. I don't know what it is that triggers it. What really gets me is when I eat spicy food, especially Indian food. I don't know. I just picked Indian food because I know it's spicy. Or I eat Thai food because that's super spicy. Thai food is really good, by the way. And so is Indian food. I love curry. Um... I love. I, I actually love food. I'm getting a little sidetracked, but maybe it's like I was. I don't know. If every time I go out to this one restaurant, guaranteed, I end up with an outbreak. So, whatever it is, um, let me know. I can't wait. Go on over. Join our community. Join our Slack group. We have some fun things going on there every day, and come say hi. I'm in there all the time, and I do my very best to reply. ASAP and be on top of that. So that is where you can find me. And without further ado, also have you just gotten herpes? Um, If you have, it's okay. Life will be fine. I know that's not the phase that you're in right now, but it will be, I promise. And I have the crisis toolkit for you. It is the Life with Herpes Crisis Toolkit. I have discounted it because you are a podcast member and a listener and hopefully part of our group. And um, the discount code is podcast. So it discounts it 50%. Um, I I want, I am so passionate about it and I am so, um, I mean this in the best way. I'm so thrilled for you to have it, <laughs> not for you to have herpes, um, <laughs> but I'm thrilled that there is something for you. It is... Um, hand-holding. It is what you need to do basically your first month of having herpes. It is the 101, so you don't have to turn to Google. It is um, just a place for you to go so you can learn everything you need to know about how to handle your your outbreak, um, difficult conversations you're going to need to have, and just some coaching on that. Speaking of coaching, I am also doing some coaching. I have heard from a couple of you that you are interested in that, and so I am opening up coaching. I have a couple of days a week And um, I have more information about that as well in my group. So if you're interested in coaching, join our group, uh, lifewithherpes.com, and you will find out all the details about it. So yeah, lifewithherpes.com for the crisis toolkit and lifewithherpes.com for the community. All right, my friend, I am ecstatic to be here with you, whatever it is that you're doing, whether you are folding laundry or making dinner or making breakfast or um, like my friend David, you may be at the gym. Um, And don't worry, he gave me permission to say that. So don't worry, guys. I don't don't do like shout outs, but my friend David, um, who listens to my podcast at the gym or in the car, whatever it is you're doing. So thank you. I am so grateful that I can be here with you. It, It truly touches my heart and Um, I am very, 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 again, I'm not happy you have herpes, um, but I am happy that we are here together. All right. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you soon. 